guys, Dennis here. Brake fluid is an often neglected component of your brakes. That soft, mushy feeling you get in your pedal can be a sign that you have old water-laden brake fluid. I'm here today to show you how anyone at home can change your brake fluid safely and easily. Let's go. Never use brake fluid that's already been opened before because it absorbs water out of the air. So, equipment that you'll need. Brake fluid, container for waste brake fluid, rags and a turkey baster. Optional, rubber hose, lug wrench, small box wrench, jack and jack stands. Most vehicles use DOT3 brake fluid. You can use DOT4, but you're gonna have to change it out more often. Take your turkey baster and the container, and you wanna leave just enough fluid at the bottom so that air can't work its way into your system. Okay, it's time to put fresh brake fluid into the system. Prestone brake fluid lasts longer than minimum spec brake fluid, and they use corrosion inhibitors to help keep your brake system running longer. Some of you might wanna stop here. You've flushed out more than half your system, and if you do this every year, you'll be good to go. We're gonna keep going and flush out the rest of the lines though. Jack up the vehicle on jack stands and remove the wheels. You can do one wheel at a time if you don't have four jack stands. Start with the wheel furthest from the master cylinder, usually the right rear. Then work in closer, left rear, right front, and left front. Okay, so now that we're here, you wanna find the bleeder fitting with a rubber cap on it. Once you located it, give it a quick wipe. Remove the rubber cap, take your wrench, put it over top and the hose on top of that. The hose you then want to run into the waste bucket. For this next step, I called my buddy Tom to come and give me a hand just to make my life a little easier. Hey buddy. Hey. All right, let's get this going. All right. With one person in the driver's seat and one at the wheel, when you're ready with your hose and wrench in place, you say to the person in the driver's seat, break. Break. You then open the valve and you will see dirty brake fluid come out. Care must be taken not to let air into the system. So before he releases his foot off the brake, you have to shut the valve. Release. Release. Repeat this process until all the dirty fluid has been drained out and you can only see clean fluid. But make sure that you don't run the reservoir dry and suck in air that way. Make sure to fill up the reservoir after you bleed each wheel. When all four wheels are done, give one final top off, and you're done. So you guys might want to take note of when you did this service so you can remember to do it in two to three years. And if you want to make your lives even easier, consider changing your power steering fluid on the same schedule. Hope you guys found this helpful. My name is Dennis. Thanks to my buddy Tom here for helping out. My pleasure. And thanks to you guys for watching. You know what? See you next time. <laughs>